hi welcome back to my channel if you're new I'm Stephanie thank you for watching I am so excited for today's video because today's video I am sharing with you guys my top healthy hacks tips and tricks these tricks are going to help you stick to your goals and I think help all around basically so starting with number one going to the movies but you want to stay on your goals and don't want to miss out like being with your friends or family, try these. This is a healthy hack. Buttered popcorn rice cakes and these clear American black cherry wa like carbonated waters. Literally so good. This tastes like a black cherry icy because you can't go to the movies without an icy or popcorn. So just take a couple of these and like you can crumble them up into like little pieces and it's like you're eating popcorn. So good. My second trick Instead of drinking water, try Azevia. I don't know how to say this. I think I'm saying it right, Azevia. But this one's my favorite. This one is cream soda and it is so good. And it like tastes just like a soda, but it's not. Like it kind of tricks you out because like it's actually clear inside. So well, the first time I saw it, I was like, I was drinking like a Dr. Zevia, so it's be like Dr. Pepper. I'm like, why is it clear though? That's messing with me. So I try not to like pour it out, I try to drink it out of the can, but it literally tastes just like a soda and you're saving so many calories. Like one bottled um, root beer is like 70 grams of carbs. That's a whole lot of food you could eat if you were just to have a Zevia. Now Sprouts has these on sale a lot because these are kind of pricey. It's like $5 for like a couple of them. So wait for Sprouts, they usually have like a buy one, get one and I just stock up and the cashiers look at me weird, but you know, they're amazing. So my next trick or tip or hack, they're all intertwined, is using your protein powder as food. Okay, so with protein powder, I like to make protein pancakes. And I know you can have protein pancakes with like the mix and stuff, but this is literally just protein powder, water. And I'm sorry, not water. This is literally just protein powder, egg whites, and cinnamon. You can do any protein flavor. Um, I like doing like birthday cake or chocolate peanut butter is good. Mix uh, a scoop of protein powder, some egg whites, just like a third a cup or half a cup, a little bit of cinnamon, mix it, pour it into your frying pan and like let it cook and then it's back and forth. And then it's like the consistency of food. So it's like you're actually eating but there's no carbs. Like mind blown, right? As I was making shakes, like milkshakes, get your protein powder, ice, and like almond milk, a little bit of Walden Farms, like anything, like fruits, berries, like make a shake out of it. Or you get like the chocolate protein powders. It's like having a chocolate milkshake. Trick your mind and you're saving so many calories. Next one is I just recently came across this. I've seen it on Instagram, but I've never really like thought about it. Um, it is a lava cake. Like, I don't know why it took me this long to figure this out. So you take a coffee cup and spray it with non-cooking spray. One scoop, I was using Vital Protein's uh, dark chocolate coconut, like collagen pro mix. Oh my gosh, so good. A little bit of stevia and just enough water to like mix it. Put it in the microwave for 20 seconds. You have a lava cake and it's not dry. It's like, like you're eating like this, decadent chocolate cake from a restaurant, but there are no carbs. Well, in the Vital Proteins, there was like seven grams of carbs. And then I started adding like chocolate Walden Farm syrup on it, and then some cookies and cream eaten light, and it was like just some a la mode cake. And is, this, is that what ice cream is, a la mode? I think so. But it was so good. I'm like, wow, this is bomb. I can have this every night and not feel guilty. I should go back on prep. And I'm like, mm, no. Using your protein powder as your coffee creamer. Um, you can do vanilla, chocolate peanut butter. So this especially helps if you're on prep and you can't use creamer if your coach cuts it out. You're like, I'm still drinking my coffee. You don't wanna see me with no coffee. Next tip, tip number four. Eat healthy chips. Don't go and get the Cheetos or Fritos. I'm talking about the Quest protein chips. They have like 20 grams of protein and like four grams of carbs. And all their flavors are so good. 
And then also Prots has protein chips as well. Those are bomb. Um, I go back and forth between those two. They're so good and they like, just the like right amount of crunch, like they take away your cravings if you're like you're feeling snacky at work or during the day. They are perfect. Okay, tip number five. Eat high volume foods. This is gonna trick your mind. This is gonna fool your mind into thinking you're eating a ton of food, which you are, but it's gonna make you feel full longer and you're gonna be able to eat a lot more food because this abundance of food is like, it's low calorie, but you have a ton of it. So you can eat more food later on. Like I'm all down for more food, right? Uh, sweet potato noodles, like spiralizing your noodles. Um, cauliflower, I, mean, I could cauliflower to anything. Trader Joe's has this really good cauliflower stir fry and I add chicken to it and sometimes I'll add broccoli just to make it more of like this huge bowl. And one cup of the cauliflower stir fry is seven grams of carbs. Like that is nothing. That is one rice cake. But you're eating like just a huge bowl of food and that is so satisfying. Uh, another trick is spaghetti squash. You take a squash, cut it in half, scoop out the insides, this was like a pumpkin, and bake it for like 40 minutes. And you can like, when you fork it, when you fork it, is that a word? You scoop it out, it, it's like spaghetti. And I just add like chicken or ground turkey, marinara sauce. You can literally like change whatever flavor you want to it. It's amazing, that's perfect. I'll have that like one week of just a week straight of spaghetti squash. And it's like I'm eating nothing, but it's so full because it, it feels like I'm eating spaghetti. Tip number seven, we're not even halfway done. Tip number seven. Okay, protein bars are good and all, I love them, but don't eat them every single day. Treat them as candy bars because not a lot of them are healthy. If you look at the packaging, some of them have a lot of sad fat, a lot of fat. Use them as a candy bar. That'll help in um, just eating them like they're healthy for you every day. But those one bars, I love. And I, I try to make it into my diet every single day. All right, tip number eight, or trick, French toast. The French toast I make, three ingredients. Literally, it's like Sara Lee bread. It's like 18 grams of carbs for two pieces. And then half a cup of egg whites, ground cinnamon. So just egg whites, ground cinnamon, mix it, dip my bread in there. And sometimes if I want three pieces, I can, because it'll only be like, 27 grams of carbs or whatever. And then I just top it with blood and farm syrup. That like got me through on prep was my French toast. It was so good and satisfying. Any kind of breakfast food is satisfying. If you've seen my um, full day of eating breakfast edition, you can make pretty much any breakfast dish healthy. And it tastes like you're eating real food. Well, you are eating real food, so that was dumb. It's good, just try it. Just trust me, okay. Hack number nine. If you're having a sweet tooth, which a lot of these tips were trying to help your sweet tooth, a chocolate rice cake with peanut butter. Make sure you get like the natural, the good stuff for you. And spread that on your chocolate rice cake. It's a peanut butter cup. So many mind blowns in this video, seriously. Like, they're so good. And the hard thing is, like, because they're healthy, doesn't mean you should eat them all in one day, because I did that the other day. I had um, the lava cake and then a couple minutes later, literally a couple minutes later, I made like a healthy pop tart that I found from the flexible dieting lifestyle. I made that one and I'm like, okay, I need to stop eating just because they're healthy. doesn't mean I can have like a bunch of them. Tip number 10, eat out of a small bowl. This is going to trick your mind. I have a tiny little bowl and when I put my cereal in there, I can't put a lot. If you've ever measured cereal, you realize how much cereal you've actually been eating. But measuring cereal is like the saddest thing ever. Who wants to measure cereal? I want like the box in a huge bowl and just leave me alone. But no. I will sometimes try most of the time to measure my cereal and I'll put it in my bowl and it fits perfectly and it just, I don't think I'm eating like a less amount if I were to put it in my bigger bowl and realize, oh, that's a cup of cereal right there and that's it. But if you put it in a smaller bowl, it's gonna think you have a, your mind's gonna think you have a lot of it. But you don't, but you do. Okay, I don't know how to explain that. Tip number 11, space out your meals throughout the day. Don't eat all of your macros or meals 
and then be done by like three o'clock and have like egg whites for the rest of the night. Like try to wait at least two and a half to three hours, spread out your meals. I'm a nighttime eater. I like to eat at night and I try to like push out my first meal to like 9, 9.30, sometimes 10 and I'm like, I can't take any more, I have to eat. But if I have a lot of food left at night, it's awesome. I eat carbs at dark. Is it what? I don't even know what that is on my like car, hashtag carbs after dark. Like I don't follow that, but I like eating a big meal right before bed so I can sleep throughout the whole night and not wake up starving. Number 12, switch up your meals so you don't get sick of them. Now I know some people like to stay consistent and that's fine, like I like being consistent because it'll keep me organized and on track, like I know what I'm eating. But one week I'll do spaghetti squash and then the next week I'll do like lentil pasta. I think I skipped tip number six. Tip number six, eat veggie lentil pasta. This is bomb. This is 18 grams of carbs for the whole thing. It's zucchini lentil pasta cheddar sauce. They also have a marinara one and like a spinach, uh, tort, uh, this spinach rotini. I have got like half the girls at my work hooked on this. Like we all have bags of this in the freezer. Like, uh, which one's which? And like, we'll switch flavors if one stores out. This is so good. Okay. So you eat this whole thing. It's healthy pasta, but it tastes just like grilled mac and cheese in the microwave for three and a half minutes. Then I add my broccoli onto this and then you always want more protein. So I add like two to three ounces of chicken and I have once again, have a huge bowl of food. And this has been like the best lunch pre-workout, post-workout. It's so good and so healthy. And you won't want real pasta because you'll have this at home and you're like, well no, I can eat my healthy pasta. That's how I feel about that lava cake. Highly recommend it. Target has the cheapest, especially when it's on cartwheel. Walmart's also cheap. I think I'm on tip number 12, switch from meals, you know? So one week I'll do the uh, week full of veggie pasta, another week spaghetti squash, just so I don't get sick of it. And then I'm excited to still eat it. Um, but some people like having the same meal every single day. I mean, I've had oatmeal like every single morning for like last five years, except for recently I've been like waking up earlier and doing healthy egg white McMuffins. And it's so good and a lot of spinach because I got, gotta get your greens in there. Tip number 13. You know, I don't even know if these numbers are right anymore, so we're just going with it. Don't eat meals that you don't like. If you don't like something and it's healthy, just don't eat it because you're not gonna want to eat it. You're not gonna be satisfied. You're gonna go eat something you'd rather have anyways. So make sure the foods you're eating are her, like you're enjoying them. I enjoy eating healthy, so that's not a hard problem for me. But if you don't like broccoli, then don't eat broccoli. Go find a different vegetable or vice versa, you know? There are a ton of healthy options out there if you just do like a little bit of research. Let's see. Tip number 14. Eat your toast or bread like one piece at a time, like open face sandwiches, because it's gonna trick your mind into thinking you have a lot. Now sometimes eating like a sandwich with them together is just so satisfying. I get that. I do that with my egg McMuffin. I'm like, oh, I'm eating like a real McMuffin, but it's not. But then sometimes I want to make it feel like I have more. So I'll do two pieces of bread and then like my eggs and some jam on it. So it looks like I'm eating a lot of food and it takes me a while to eat all of it. So that also helps. Tip number 15. This is my last tip. Salsa. Put salsa on everything. Maybe not your lava cake, that'd be kind of weird. But I like putting salsa on like my egg whites and I made like an egg white sandwich. It's just adds a like, little spice. Like I know a lot of people do like tapatio, but I'm not a big spicy person. You know, mild at Taco Bell just became tolerable for me. So spicy, not my thing, but it does help like flavor your food and make your food taste a lot better. So salsa, sugar-free ketchup if you're want to do that. That one's also good. There. I hope you enjoyed my healthy hacks, tips, and tricks. If you have any other suggestions or what you do for to help you guys out stick to your goals, leave them down in the comments below. I'd love to know. Help everyone out. So thank you for watching. Hope you enjoy. Until next time. Bye.